hey guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Kay um, I am from South Africa and I'm a teacher here in South Korea for those of you who do know me hey what's up um, <laughs> so I actually wanted to say a huge shout out to you guys because I just got 300 subscribers on YouTube so hey. <laughs> thank you so much for that um, today's video is going to be about what it's like to be Korean American in South Korea versus being foreign in South Korea. So I have invited a very special guest to be here with us. His name is David. David. Hello. Can you please introduce yourself? Um, my name is David. Uh, I am Korean, but I grew up in the States my entire life and I came to Korea six months ago now. And here I am doing a video with her. Yeah, yeah. this is David. <laughs> Claps for David. I'll put that yeah. So David and I actually met through Cami, and if you haven't seen my video with Cami, I'll link it up here somewhere. It's gonna like slide. Yo, Cami. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like I said, we're gonna talk about the differences of being a gyopo. I think is what it's called versus being a foreigner. So those of you who don't know, a gyopo is someone who is Korean ethnically, but grew up or lived abroad for a very long time. And then comes to Korea and then gets called a I don't know why. Don't ask me why, I don't know. When I refer to being foreign, I'm <laughs> talking from like a black South African context. So this is not everyone's experience, but just particularly me as a non-American foreigner as well. It's like a whole completely different context. So just keep that in mind. So, David. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, what was life like growing up in America as a Korean? Uh, so, for me, I grew up in Atlanta, mm -hmm. uh, Georgia, and it's not that where I grew up. There's not that many uh, Asian people. Mm -hmm. It's mostly African Americans or Hispanics. Mm -hmm. uh, like in elementary and middle school, like yeah, there were times where I got bullied because I was the only colored kid I guess mm -hmm. and um, yeah but it like it wasn't that bad like it wasn't anything serious but you know it still sucks when you're a kid because yeah, you don't yeah. really understand it but mm -hmm. I could say like I even though I'm Korean and I'm in Korea I experienced a lot more uh, I don't know if I could say racism but more like judgment and like discrimination mm, okay. here than yeah. I did back home Growing up? So, yeah. Like, even when you were, like, sensitive kid? Yeah. More here now, in the six months that I've been here, than the years in America. That's wild. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so why did you come to Korea in the first place? So, I came to Korea because, uh, well, I grew up with my grandparents in mm -hmm. the States, and then ten years ago, they came back to Korea. Um, and I always told myself, after, like, high school and all that, I would go see my grandparents again because I haven't seen them in 10 years mm -hmm. and in the states I'm only a green card holder so technically my citizenship is still to Korea mm. and I have to do my military service so you don't have dual citizenship? no I never went to go get my citizenship because I'm lazy <laughs> okay and it's pretty much the same thing yeah but what I just can't vote uh -huh. uh, I don't really see a point in voting. Obama's done. And with that, I just have two more words to say. Obama out. <laughs> I would have voted for him again. Okay. But we got Trump. No comment. Okay, after coming to Korea, then what would you say were like the biggest differences or like what what was it like adjusting to life in Korea? So before I came to Korea, I watched like a lot of uh, the English teachers and foreigners that live in Korea, I watch their YouTubes and uh, they said like it's really difficult language wise like mm -hmm. trying to find something simple to buy it's like because if you can't speak the language it's actually pretty hard yeah and so that's one of my that was one of my main worries but I realized that like when I came here Korea has a lot more Western like mm. traits I guess yeah, in yeah. society than I thought originally thought so Really? It's actually not that, like, bad. Like what? Like an example? Like Most people here, like, not the old people, but like, store owners or restaurants, they can understand basic English. Mm, so, okay. 
that's not I can't complain because I'm not like I can speak Korean to a certain extent but I can't understand it and read it and write it that well mm -hmm. so like a basic conversation I can have but when they start going off in Korean I just sit there and I am obviously not Korean as you can see um, which means that if I make a mistake in Korean or if I don't know something I get like an automatic pass so I'm curious like for you like if you obviously someone's gonna speak to you not knowing that you're American mm -hmm. right if you don't know what they're saying or like um, you respond and maybe they don't understand you or I don't know what the case is how is that reaction because like I get an automatic pass I imagine for you it's very uh. different I get I get the pause sometimes too, and then they they look at me. Like mm -hmm. some people just look at me for curiosity, and then some people will judge me. Mm -hmm. And then I just tell them like, I'm Korean, but I grew up in the states, so I don't understand your Korean that well. Mm -hmm. And then do you they, say this in English? Yeah, in Korean. In Korean, and mm -hmm. then they're like, Oh, okay, okay, I see. Uh. Yeah. And then they dumb down their Korean for me. And then, <laughs> I, and then I finally understand. Do they ever yeah. assume you're like a different kind of Asian though? I've had one lady assume that I was Chinese, mm. okay. and then she's like, "Whole oh, Corona nonsense." I was like, "I'm not Chinese." And she's like, "Oh, okay." In my case, in <coughs> adjusting to life in Korea, so I'm from South Africa. South Africa is like eleven official languages and cultures. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> and then like a lot of unofficial ones, like people who moved to South Africa and then they just kept. There are families going there and whatnot. So for me, like coming to Korea was like a little bit weird because then like everyone around me is like one race. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like I stick out no matter what. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how much I adapt to the culture and whatever the case is, I just I'm gonna stick out. There's no way. Um so I'm curious for you because in America obviously there's like you said, you grew up in an area with like African Americans, Hispanic people, mm -hmm. white people. So what is it like to like, it sounds weird, but to like touch down and then like everyone looks like you. What is that feeling like? I also thought about that before I came here and I was like, oh, look, I can blend in. But <laughs> it's surprisingly, there's a lot more foreigners here than I thought. Like I live in Ochang and it's like, it's not that big, mm -hmm. but I think it was the second day I came here. I went out for a walk and I saw like I saw like Indian people. I saw really? white people. In Ota? Yeah, I was like, oh my god, there's actually a lot more foreigners here than I thought. And in my city, I guess or town, I don't know. They have like foreign restaurants too. Oh like, really? Uh, like halal food and like Vietnamese food, Indian food. So that that surprised me a lot. And I was like, wow, okay. So. And I'm surprised. The reason I'm so surprised is because it's Chongju and like this is not a big city at all. Like, Maybe more like Seoul or Busan. Yeah, or yeah. Or I wouldn't be as surprised, but if you say like yeah. in Otang, there's like halal. Yeah, restaurants. that that that's, freaked me out. I was like, that's Whoa. very confusing. <laughs> I've been there once, so I'm just like, huh. With the lake part. Yeah. yeah. And then my first week here, I like, when I went places, I mm -hmm. used English. Yeah. Because I kind of. Like, it's a habit. English is my first language, so I went to like stores and stuff and spoke English. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, like, oh, I'm not. I gotta speak Korean. And then the response I got, like, 75% of the time, they understood my English. Yeah. So I was like, oh, thank God. And then again, on the note of like you looking like you being culturally American, what would you say is the difference, very specifically, between like how old are you? Sorry. 22. 20, oh, we're the same age. Oh, really? Yay. 97? Yeah, 97. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> so, what would you say is the difference between you and a guy who is like 22 as well, 97, and has never lived Korea? Mm -hmm. Like a Korean guy who has never lived Korea. There are, I've noticed that, I don't know if it's the women too, but like mm -hmm. they're really, uh, they're very conservative because mm -hmm. I guess so they're parents and like in Korea I realized that extended family like your cousins and your uncles and stuff uh, mean a lot and they're you like, you see them a lot more than like an average American would like back in America like, okay. like what you see your grandparents and everyone for like holidays like Thanksgiving or something but here 
they find any and every reason they can to get together. Mm -hmm. and they're very closed, like enclosed in their own the community. Yeah, like the way that they were either brought up or the things they learned and they were taught. That's what to that's what they stick to. Like they're not really on the open side of like, talking or doing stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can't judge them, but I'm just like, oh, that's interesting. Cause like, would you say like close-minded? Yeah, like when you go, I I've noticed that Korean people like when you go out when they go out with their friends, mm -hmm. they eat, they drink, they sing. That's it. Like, <laughs> They don't really, <laughs> they don't really want to do much else, so. And how is that for you? Do, do you have friends that are like Korean from Korea and have only been in Korea? I don't have that many just Korean friends. Like, most of my friends here are all foreigners. Uh-huh. Like, you know them all, too. Um, this is true. We're the same friend group. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, we have Sam's boyfriend, Mingyu. Him. Are you guys friends? Yeah, I like him. He's a he's a very nice guy. Shout out to Mingyu Hyung. Hi. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure there are like Koreans who've only been in Korea their whole lives that are open-minded. Because yeah, yeah. I've noticed like even before I came here, my grandparents told me that like so uh, Korea's gotten a lot more like westernized in mm. the past few years. Mm -hmm. I thought okay, and coming here and experiencing it firsthand. Yeah, I noticed that they are like more open to like Western culture, but then they still have the way that they know of life here. Mm -hmm. So it is. So it's like I'm open-minded, but if someone like if an older person is gonna like judge me for it, then no. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've I've felt that with my Korean friends as well. And their fashion. I don't get the fashion. You don't like it? I don't like the fashion. <laughs> what kind? Of, there's like different styles though. You know, there's like the preppy chic, and yeah. then there's like the Hip hop. Yeah. I mean, day. hey, like their own fashion <laughs> taste is your business, but yeah, a lot of men dress more feminine here too. Sometimes mm -hmm. you mean like the makeup? Yeah, I don't get that. Like like BB cream. What's that? Okay. Is it lotion? <laughs> it's I like, know lotion. Okay, you know foundation. Yeah. It's like a mix of lotion and foundation. Oh, that's weird. That's, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. The makeup I don't get. Like my grandparents, like they try to buy me clothes. Oh, that's cute. But I can't wear the type of clothes they want me to wear. So they're just like, here's money, you just go buy what you want. Oh. Yeah. Shame. Mm -hmm. um, another thing about Korea is like there's a lot of societal pressure. So like to do well, like to get good grades in school, to get a good job, to like get married when you're a certain age and you have certain like specs and stuff. I'm not even Korean and that living in Korea I've gotten that a lot like why aren't you married yet and I'm like I first of all I'm 22 let's start there mm -hmm. not saying there's anything wrong with people who get married young but it's also like I've got time <laughs> um, so I'm wondering like for you the standards that like that pressure that they put on society is it like the same or is it different for you because you grew up differently half and half mm -hmm. like because I because I am Korean they they expect me like I only graduated high school. I didn't go to college yet, and uh, they say because like, of the military. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not that smart, so I I barely passed high school. Like, <laughs> um, and like, they tell me like, oh, you need to study, and then, you know, you need to go get a good job at like a company or like be a lawyer or a doctor. That actually is like pretty stereotypical, but mm -hmm. they do pressure you a lot into doing something good and I get it like from the parents like perspective yeah you want your kid to do well and not have to struggle but damn like <laughs> so much like they pressure them like the 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 guys they pressure them to always be manly like, you have to know how to do this you have to do that you have to be good at studying and all that and for women like the Soci societal pressure mm -hmm. is huge like you have to look good you have to dress nice you have to be well-mannered the whole career mm -hmm. thing <laughs> um 
you have but not like for example like okay you're only 22 so i doubt they would say like you should be getting married or like dating even like you should start dating or mm -hmm. none of that uh no my, my parents are more westernized and they don't live in korea so mm -hmm. they don't really care they're back in like, the states they're in canada right now canada yeah. okay that they, they don't really pressure me into doing less they just say, live your life and don't get in trouble mm -hmm. And then my grandparents, they don't really, because they, they lived in the States and they know how I am. Mm -hmm. So they they don't tell me like, oh, you need to get married and start dating or whatever. But I have heard from like the older Korean people that I know, like extended family or like, or, like uncles and aunts, they'll mm -hmm. tell me like, oh, you need to find yourself a Korean girl and get married and have kids right like, like now or like yeah in, uh, like in the whole oh, i'm only 22 but <laughs> i'm not really rushing to get married but yeah all right so i think we talked about everything except um yeah what would you say then like are things that since you've come to korea you really like about korea fast delivery okay agreed yeah. i agree Th that's and they deliver almost everything that's true. that's fun and then there's just a lot more to do mm -hmm. even at night like if you go out with your friends like there's a lot more stuff to do and things are a lot cheaper here than in america yeah like they say they don't have tax but like i think it's included in the price but like you mean like value added tax yeah oh, okay. like uh yeah things are really cheap here I don't agree. As a South African, yeah. I don't agree. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Things are really cheap. Except like foreign products, those are expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Really expensive. Definitely. Yeah, fast delivery. The food's not that bad. Like, Did you grow up eating Korean food? Or not that like much. American food? American food, yeah. So I do miss that. I miss that a lot. Like, Even with your grandparents? Yeah. They like American food a lot too. Mm. So. So what's your favorite Korean food? Uh, <laughs> Should I just name things so you'll be like, yeah. you like it or you don't? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, kimchi jjigae? Yeah, I like that. That Kim one's good. Okay, kimchi yeah, bokkeumbap. That, one, that one's not bad either. Not bad? It's not bad, yeah. Okay. It's not bad. Denjan jjigae. No. Most people hate that. No, that <laughs> smells like a sewer. <laughs> no offense, but that it smells like Okay, and there we have it. Hamburgers. I love hamburgers. Okay, Korean pizza. No, uh, that's gross. With the <laughs> sweet potato and the corn is like, that's nasty. The almonds. Oh, it's almonds. <laughs> yeah, that's. I think that's pretty much it. Um, I've said what I love about Korea in another video, so I'm not gonna get into that. But yeah, if you have any questions for David, please just leave them in the comment section. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments or. DM me on Instagram, do whatever you will. <laughs> um, and please give this video a like, please subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm posting. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.